the last thing to really talk about kind of in, in terms of these targeted therapies is we have one that's already been approved. Where does it fit in now? The old, the old, the, I guess it's the old school one, it's this old school, which is a varolimus. Where do we put a varolimus? You know, Hope, guys, any questions? Well, you know, it's an interesting thing. Joyce and I uh, were talking about mouth sores about three or four years ago, around whenever, uh, close to when it was approved. And uh, the oral medicine people were very interested in using these steroid dental paste that they use for aphthous ulcers, you know, and started using a steroid mouthwash, I think, that was originally developed by Joyce's nurse and or at least put forward. And she uh, it. they, yeah. yeah, it was pretty interesting. And we stopped seeing the mouth sores. Right. So actually, we've all done now trials looking at uh, steroid solutions. We used a, a commercial steroid preparation with dexamethasone. Um, and Joyce, you've been doing one with that uh, compounded formulation. And uh, we'll have da some data we hope to present at ASCO on our uh, single arm trial showing, you know, that you can con essentially close to eliminate any significant mouth sores. So that makes Everolimus a lot easier to use because I think that those early mouth sores where, you know, most of them occur in the first six to eight weeks, are, is a really big issue. Interestingly, we've just actually uh, are uh, publishing a paper uh, from some data we did looking at a meta-analysis of uh, a lot of trials with Everolimus in different solid tumors showing that the people who had uh, stomatitis and who got delayed and had dose reductions did just as well, if not better, than the people who didn't have stomatitis. So it's maybe, uh, when you're not using steroid prevention, a marker of drug exposure to some degree. And I, I guess, you know, I've seen patients respond really Really well to Everolimus, even those who failed palbociclib. Uh, you know, people who were on Paloma 2 progressed, were unblinded, were on palbociclib, went on Everolimus and Eximestine even after three lines of chemo, and it gave them their only six months off of chemotherapy. Yeah. So I think that Everolimus has a continued place. What will happen if we develop a PI3 kinase inhibitor that can be approved and is tolerable? That's another question. Right. Uh, that could replace Everolimus. But right now, I think it still stands on its own. I don't know what everybody else thinks. I agree. I, I mean, I think I've been using the uh, dexamethasone elixir, um, the commercially available one. I don't see stomatitis at all anymore. Mm -hmm. I still see intermittent uh, non-infectious pneumonitis. And that's, yes. what I'm, that's what I'm targeting <laughs> yeah, that right now. That's, that, that's the toxicity a scary one. that I'm targeting scary one. Uh, yeah. right now. I just want to make sure you don't miss that one. Mm -hmm. right. um, but, and that's, but you know, that's a really good point to say to the audience that you, know, you have someone who comes in, coughing, shorter breath, you do a CT scan, she has what may look like lymphogenic spread, you know, and then the light bulb hopefully will go off in your mind that, oh, she's been on a varolimus for six months. Right. You know, this is the pneumonitis. Before you immediately go to chemo, withdraw the varolimus for a while and see if she gets Give better. Give them steroids. The and thing steroids. is that I think if you educate patients while and you're doing regular scans, you often just pick up grade one and it never goes anywhere. But if you tell people to call in if they have little symptoms, you don't ever get right. to that really right. bad right. shortness exactly. of breath. Exactly, exactly. And I don't know if you've seen it. I think this gets to the sequencing point. What I've seen so far, because you know, everybody's getting palbociclib, whether they get it with letrozole, whether they get it with fulvestrin. So everolimus has been pushed down a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of where I would use it probably after. I think most of us would do And that I'm now. seeing great results in patients who don't have liver disease. So like the bone onlys, you know, they've done well with the palbo for a while, you know, and then you switch them over to eximestane and everolimus, fantastic results. But liver, not so much. But I've seen some really excellent, I mean, I kind of like look at the scan and go, did they compare it to the right one? You know, where I've seen shrinkage of liver lesions with Everolimus. Well. I have as well. After, yeah. after palbo. palbociclib. Yeah. The problem is you just don't have any markers. That's our problem. We have, we no, have data. no good data. We have no data. We have no markers. We have nothing Scans. to tell us things are going to work and who to select the patients for. <laughs> yeah. That's a problem. Right. We would love to have, you know, some sort of gene, you know, a mutation in some gene that predicts a response to Everolimus. You know, that you do the circulating DNA and suddenly it pops up. You give mm -hmm. the woman a variable. Right, we're going to really know, need that. Hopefully, I, I mean, but yeah. you know, that's pie in the sky. I don't think I've seen one yet. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. So, just so we didn't ever figure out how to sequence all of our single agent so endocrine therapies, no we're, no we're not going to be able to figure out how to do these combined. And therapies. we also have the histone deacetylase inhibitor yes, antinostat that's in a randomized yep. phase three trial in the cooperative group. So. We have some old school drugs. I remember Joyce and I had a conversation in San Antonio about high dose estrogen. The return yeah. of, you know, high estrogen. It's you know, funny, but that's, you know, I don't have stuff. a lot of candidates anymore since the advent <coughs> of Everolimus and yeah. Palbo. You know, we kind of run out of endocrine therapy in most of these people, but right. I still use it. 